What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today we're going to be opening up a Yu-Gi-Oh! Sealed Play Battle Kit 2. So this is the Obelisk version of the Battle Kit. You guys seem to really enjoy the Slifer Kit, so that's what I was thinking, I'd go ahead and get the Obelisk one. And uh, I might go on ahead and get the Raw Battle Kit as well, if you guys would enjoy that. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open this up and uh, see what we get. Maybe we'll get a God card this time? I don't know. Like I said, God cards are just almost impossible to get from one of these, so I really hope I get one. And, uh, yeah, I got this from Big and Collectibles, so be sure to check them out. Link in the description. Really awesome store. Also, you know what? Let me show you guys the back of this, too, so you can see the different playmats. I don't think I did that last time. But, yeah, what's cool about these is basically you can buy two of them, and uh, you and your friend can have one, and uh, build a deck, and play the game. It's pretty cool. It's kind of a fun little thing. Now, how do I open this again? <laughs> there we go. Evidently, I can't talk and open one of these up. There. I couldn't figure out what side it opened up on. Man. Can you tell it's the first opening that I'm recording today? Nah, you guys can't tell, right? Right here is our playmats. Looks pretty nice. I, I like these playmats. Again, only complaint is that they're smaller playmats. I, I don't like how they do that. I guess I understand why, but, you know, it'd look a lot better. So, there. <laughs> I'll put it as our background. And now for the glue. Let's see. Oh, that one wasn't too bad. At least packs have so much glue on them. There. Forbidden Chalice? That's really good. Uh, Hedge Guard. And uh, Guardian Angel Joan for our rare. Battle Fader. That's pretty good. I don't know if I should put the... Our holographic or rare or whatever to the top. Let's see. Go Go Golem. And DD Warrior Lady. Dragon Ice, that's pretty good. I guess I'll go ahead and fix this too. There. Hedge Guard. Obviously one of the best cards in the set. It's funny some of the cards they reprint. Although, you know, you'll actually use a lot of these then. Uh, Strike Slash. And Cyber Valley. That's a good reprint. And then we got Tour Bus from the Underworld. I remember being happy about that reprint. Or people being happy about it. I was kind of eh because I didn't get Tour Guide. <laughs> it was too expensive. It was like $100 back then when a lot of people were using it. So if I got one, I instantly sold it. There we go. Miniaturize. We have a Phantom Dragon and Slate Warrior. I always use Slate Warrior in the games. He's usually one of the first ones to get. Revival Gem. That's cool. I think it's Nightmare Troubadour yet again, or I always use Slate Warrior. We have Big Shield Gardener. That's cool. A little nostalgia there. Bull Blader. And a Cyber Dragon. That's pretty, pretty neat. Nothing too crazy, but there are a lot of uh, very useful cards in this set, even today, which is pretty good. I still kind of hope that they you know, bring back battle packs. I don't know if they are ever going to do that. They probably won't. But I thought they were a really cool idea. Metal Reflect Slime and the Fiend Mega Cyber. I always like this card. Not because it had Cyber in the name, but I always thought it was cool. I think Joey used it like once or something. I don't really remember. He didn't use it much. I think he used it in the computer game, at least. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. I'm trying to remember if he used it in, in the anime or not. Cyber Jar. And a Mosaic Manicore. Not bad. Still no God card. Oh, uh, well, the pack kind of opened up because of the glue, so... Oh, come on. Let go of it. Obelisk, let go raw. There. There we go. We have Card Guard. Man, I was hoping that was a God card in there, just because it was such a pain. And a Shard of Greed. Not bad. Here emerges. Let's see. There's one with Raw, so... And Aw. Uh, Labyrinth of Nightmare. <laughs> I was hoping maybe. I'm trying to get that God card, you know? Uh, Golden Apples. Uh, Zoma the Spirit. That's another good one. Token card. I think I used to use that Nightmare Tributor to bring out Slifer. Or really any of the odd cards, because you were trying to get as many tributes as you could. 
And we have a Hyper Ancient Shark Megalodon for our uh, Mosaic, and uh, then a uh, Mermel Abyss Megalo. So that's a good rare. Remember that being a good reprint too. Botanical Lion, another card I used a lot. And Dark Resonator, one of my favorite tuner monsters. I just think it looks cool. So yep, there you go. That's the opening. Unfortunately, no God card this time, yet again. But uh, yeah, maybe next time. Who knows? But uh, I really do recommend getting these even still just for fun. I mean, if you're looking for something more competitive, uh, it's probably not for you. But uh, just getting two of these and playing as your friends with them are still, you know, just a lot of fun. And they have a lot of great uh, staple cards and everything, too, still in them. And just useful cards, especially for beginners. It's, it's something that is really great for beginners. And I'm still hoping that maybe we'll see that Battle Pack 4 at some point. Or maybe even kind of a reboot version of it. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, just tell me what you guys think. If you guys would like to see uh, more Battle Pack openings as well as a new Battle Pack set in the future. I I'd love to know what you guys think on that, too, if you enjoyed what they were doing there for a while or, or not. And also, just tell me what other openings you guys want to see in the future anyway. I'll try to get the Raw Battle Pack since you guys enjoyed this Cypher one. I'm hoping you guys will enjoy this one and maybe we'll move on to Raw as well. And uh, I might try to hunt down all the different Battle Pack 3, the different playmats. I think there's like six different playmats. I, I don't know. I I don't remember exactly how many. And uh, also, like this if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings. We will get that uh, God card eventually from one of these packs, hopefully, too, in one of these openings. So, as always, thank you guys for watching, and of course I will catch you guys later. See ya! Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video. Be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Night Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cyber Night CCG for Card Fight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya!